Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Hope all's well in your world this week and thanks so much for dropping in. I truly appreciate it. See what your energies are surrounding you. This can be any aspect of your life, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind and you can flip the energy. Pisces. A tidy house, clarity, and organization. Pisces. The perfect storm. The courage to step into life. <laughs> Some of you may be doing like a mass cleanup of your house, getting organized. You know how they say, a tidy house, a tidy mind. So the courage to step into life. Beautiful. And we have the Moon Maiden. Yeah, but you've got a new beginning here. So you may be just clearing things up, clearing things out. You could be just getting rid of things. And I do feel like there's a lot of organization, but this is having, this is the perfect storm. So there's something, uh, this opportunity. And uh, it's going to take a little courage here to step into life. And sometimes it takes courage to get rid of things that you no longer need. Things you're holding on to, you know, a lot of us are pack rats. We like to save everything. So there could be just something there. Sometimes the readings are just simple. But I definitely feel there's something to do with clarity, organization, a tidy house. This is about finding balance, balancing out your whole life. Okay, let, getting rid of things. Beautiful. You have a new beginning here. So let's see what this is all about. Some kind of new beginning. The moon maiden. Maybe kind of exploring your feelings. There could be something a little emotional about this. But it's new. Pisces, new. All right, look at that. The house, the home could be your financial foundation. But this is a reason to celebrate. So you could be getting ready for a party, a celebration. <laughs> the perfect storm, the perfect timing. I see it coming. Yeah. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now it's an energy. It's somebody here who knows what they want. They're not afraid to go for it. So this is also someone being very creative. You know, very creative here. Someone you know, could be a celebration, a party. Someone's very determined here. Okay? Very, very determined. Very theatrical. Uh, very, it has to do with a sense of pride as well with that King of Wands. This is someone has a sense of pride here. Yeah, their house, their home. Someone, oh, look at that. We have something to do with feelings and emotions here. Yeah, you've got someone who's, I feel like you've got some possibly new love here. Now, some of you could be just freshening up your home. You may have be hiring someone who's very creative, very hardworking, dependable, who's going to uh, maybe help you out here. But I see love. I see feelings, emotions, a king of cups, someone emotionally mature, available. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, the king of cups. So we have some Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag. This could be a Scorpio energy when I see these two. Yeah. Pisces. It could even be yourself. Yeah, look at this. Eight of Wands. So yeah, I see a very busy time. Communication, incoming, multiple opportunities. Some of you may have a few opportunities, but there's something new. You may have several new things going on. Could be to do with a new house, a new home. There's a reason to celebrate. Strong financial foundation. But there is that person with that sense of pride and determination. Someone who goes after what they want. So this could be someone who's you know, doing things on your home, fixing it, or they're doing their own. Someone may be getting ready to start something here. They may be just clearing things up, getting their house in order. Yeah, incoming communication, and to delays. Someone very busy. Yeah, we got three kings now. This is someone who's uh, strategizing, analyzing a situation. There's definitely an energy of communication. It's very fast-moving energy. But this is a person who's very wise, very smart, okay? They're strategizing. It's someone's strategy. You may have multiple opportunities, things, a lot going on. You may be very busy, okay? It could be just that right there. You may be working on your home. Yeah, look at that, the energy of three. Offers, invitations, parties, celebrations, getting together with people. Somebody here, you've got an invitation, I feel, coming in. Somebody's going to invite you to a party, a celebration, or introduce you to their friends and family. This is a person who's confident about a decision they're about to make. See? Yeah. Or you've got three people, three situations. <laughs> the courage to step into life. Now, when I see this, this is often an energy of somebody who's becoming that emperor. I 
I've seen it in another reading earlier, so you know, some of these same energies are here, but you have a new beginning, okay? There's the moon maiden, so there's some moon energy, you know, emotions and feelings. You may have someone who's keeping something to themselves here. See, they're focused. This is someone who's kind of focused on this house, home, their financial foundation, a celebration, family, commitment. Yeah, four of wands. Why is this here? Yeah, well, Scorpio energy. Something is ending. Somebody's ending something, a situation. It's the death of something. It could be someone selling their home, buying a new home, getting rid of things, or they're just organizing their home. But this is a transitional energy. You can see that. Every ending brings a new beginning. It could be somebody who's ending a relationship, selling their home. Okay. Whatever it is, it's finished. Yeah, it has to do with emotional fulfillment. So whatever this is, there's something <laughs> something finished. Yeah. It's an energy of someone who's emotionally... I feel like you got someone coming in to wear their heart on their sleeve. It has to do with someone seeing the bigger picture. Happy home, happy life. Yeah, some emotional fulfillment here. Yeah, see, we have someone walking away from something. This is a person looking for something. See, it's seeing the bigger picture. Uh, like I say, someone may have entered a relationship, maybe their divorce has come through, or they've sold a home. It could be someone who's looking for a new home. Now we have the King of Pentacles. We have all, there's something financial here too. This is someone planning, preparing, looking at the bigger picture. See, planning something. This is someone very meticulous, very detailed, definitely financially stable. That's why I feel for some of you, it's one person going through these feelings, but you may have a lot of things going on invitations, parties. You may end something with one person. You may be moving towards another person. Because <laughs> you're it's an energy of looking for emotional fulfillment. Something wasn't. This is someone who wants to be emotionally fulfilled. Happy home, happy life. Someone putting all their cups on the table. It's an energy of someone planning. Mm -hmm. Looking at the tidy house, the clarity. Yeah, see, it's making a choice in love. Someone's making a choice. So it could be a choice between two houses, two homes, two people. It's about love. So look at that. Someone's making a choice. They're looking at this. This is a person who's financially stable. That's why I kind of feel someone's been doing something to their home, fixing it up, getting ready to sell it, and they're looking for another and possibly looking for a partner, someone to share with. Oh, yeah. We see that energy of a bond, a connection. See, look at this. There it is. <laughs> yeah, so someone looking for love. Someone's ready for love here. They've got themselves ready. They're organized. They've got the clarity. They've planned. And they've come out of this financially stable if they have sold a home. Maybe you have the money to buy a new home. But this is a person looking for a soulmate. Where is my soulmate? Yeah, looking for love. Wow. Pisces. This could even be yourself. I'm seeing a Scorpio energy with this person, though. doesn't have to be. Something's finished. It's done. I can say sometimes the, the death card is actually selling a home. It's finished. Something's finished here. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Yeah. See, someone here, is, okay, there's some trust issues. See, someone here has a few trust issues. So they're looking, they're grounding themselves. This is a person who's sensible, practical. Now, this is often the energy of someone who's frustrated, okay? It's very frustrated, very fast moving, some kind of communication. So someone here is analyzing a situation. Now, it could be trust. There could be trust issues. But often this is, like I say, frustration. Someone who wants to win, okay? Coming in fast, fiery, very spontaneous. Some of you may not trust someone, been there, done that, moving towards another person. You could be the person ending something with someone. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling because you're looking for happiness long term. Okay, yeah, you got you've got someone here. Yeah, see, someone's not reciprocating. They're not sharing. You may not feel the same as this person. It could be that simple, but I see someone being frustrated. It could be a little mind games manipulation where someone's sort of tossing you breadcrumbs, dropping hints. So that's why I feel been there, done that. You've got other opportunities coming in. You have somebody. You may have a few people reaching out though. I feel this person's analyzing the situation. Okay. Could be the end of trust issues. Someone may be reaching out to you. You may have a few people. Will you reciprocate? That's the question. Yeah, thank you, but no thank you. <laughs> this is often a person who failed to recognize something, though. 
often fail to recognize an opportunity because they fail to reciprocate. You see, maybe they were, they had trust issues. There's going to be a communication here. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there's going to be some kind of talk. But some of you definitely are no longer giving to someone. Thank you, but no, thank you. It's not good enough. They're tossing breadcrumbs. That's why I feel some of you are ending something. Some of you may have sold your home, too. You may be moving on here. You might be moving in with somebody. All kinds of stuff happening. Everyone's scenario, yeah, you got an invitation. You have an offer, the start of something new. This energy of someone having the courage to step into life, you see. And that's why we've got all four kings. It's an energy of someone who's manifesting and going through all these energies. It's an energy of a very busy time, multiple opportunities, things speeding up, and the delays. Someone may be not sure if you'll reciprocate, too, you know. It looks like someone's failed to recognize um, something here they fail to see something so but like i say you may be like thanks but no thanks if you have someone you don't trust or you feel they're playing mind games tossing breadcrumbs you see you want something solid something reliable so there it is somebody who's confident so it's an energy of someone here you may have had someone who wasn't very confident maybe they had trust issues you know it's hard to say here. You could flip this for sure. But, you know, this could be yourself being confident, brave, making a decision, taming the beast. Thank you, but no thank you. But it's also the king of swords is someone who needs to be confident about a decision. Somebody here may not have been confident. So let's have a look at the five of swords. Why is this here? A little more clarity. Yeah, it has to do with work and building. It has to do with someone who's working very hard, perfecting their craft, their skills. It's also an energy of recognizing nobody's perfect. There's somebody's building something. They want to build. So it has to do with working. Someone's maybe not putting in the effort. This is why, you know, you may be like, it's enough of this energy. Thanks, but no thanks. So you have another opportunity. So be strong, be brave, be confident. But this is an energy of the King of Swords being confident. This is about confident about making a decision. It has to do with building. It has to do with someone may have not been confident here about working on something or whether this situational work. There's a partnership. See, this is about two people looking out for each other's best interest. Maybe you feel like this person didn't have your best interest. They didn't offer you something solid. But I see the confidence, the strength. Now, that's also energy of compassion. Okay, nobody's perfect. So could be just an energy there but it has to do with a business a partnership a legacy uh, partnering up with someone someone's looking for a partner someone stable reliable someone they can count on yeah you may have a few people around you a few things going on but it almost looks like this person's ending something something is complete courage to step into life yeah, manifesting. There it is. Like I say, this is the energy. Someone mastering life. See, the courage to step into life, to manifest what it is that you want, whether it's yourself or this person. So this is someone who has all the tools. Yeah, someone very handy, very capable. They like to fix things. Yeah, I feel a lot of you, this is a, a one person. Maybe you rejected this person or they rejected you. There was trust issues. Now, it could be to do with whether someone was putting in the work or whether something would work. Okay, someone perfecting their craft and skills, but it takes two people to build. Okay, partnering up. So someone has all the tools, the information, everything they need to manifest. See, mastering life. Someone's going through uh, learning all the lessons of all the kings here. Oh, my. Yeah, see, manifesting. Someone here is single. So it could be somebody who's newly single. Maybe this is the journey someone's been on here. Now someone's looking for love. See, they've left something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling. This is someone who wants emotional fulfillment. Someone's looking for love. Looking, you know, Someone who wears their heart on their sleeve. They're planning something, preparing. It's a person who's prepared. They see the bigger picture. Now maybe it's because you didn't trust this person. Maybe you rejected them. Maybe they rejected you. But it's like I say, it's a person who's failing to recognize, to see something. A missed opportunity because of the lack of reciprocity. Like I say, it could be them ending it or it's yourself. But I feel like you've got this uh, single person, someone who has everything they need. They have all the tools, the house, the home. They have everything they need, but they don't have love. Someone who failed to see. Maybe they weren't reciprocating or they're leaving someone behind who wasn't doing their fair share, wasn't a good partner. Take it as it resonates. We have the moon maiden. 
Yeah, somebody here is definitely single, maybe even newly single. Or someone who's been single for quite some time now feels ready. They have the house, the home, the money, the finances, have everything they need. Manifesting. Join the fruits of their labor. But this is somebody who's got the courage, planning for the future. We have the Empress. The birth of something new, the moon maiden. Isn't that interesting? So someone here, I feel, you know, this could be yourself too, manifesting. Just staying single till the right person comes along. You may have had a lot of opportunities. There could be like someone here, maybe you don't trust. Thanks, but no thanks. But there is a partnership here. It's about being strong, confident, and brave. And I feel like it's somebody here who's, it's the energy of strength. It, it's the infinity symbol, again, with uh, its long term, infinity, mastering. Some of you are single. Some of you are newly single. You got love coming in, though, I can tell you. You may have to kiss a few frogs first. You may just decide to stay single till the right person comes in. Yeah, mastering life, but I feel like it's this person. Yeah, there's some kind of change. Could be somebody coming back around, but this is an energy of feeling on top of the world. You have a lot of abundance. You have a lot to offer. Okay, you're balanced, creative, practical, sensible, very sexy. This is a, the, the, the full package, see? The moon maiden. But there's definitely an energy of a little bit of fear of this new beginning. It could be someone who has a little fear of change. Maybe someone feels like you've changed. You won't reciprocate if they reach out. Could be someone who walked away from you. Or maybe this somebody has been on this journey here um, after ending a relationship. They may be heading your way, but I feel there is this change. But it's positive. There's a lot of growth, possible financial growth here as well. I feel like you've got someone here who's ready for a relationship. Okay? Definitely emotionally mature. Financially stable, hardworking, dependable, creative, and very a lot of pride. There's a lot of pride here. So let's have a look at this world. There we go. Yeah, the chariot, little cancer energy, Pisces. Mm -hmm. So somebody here definitely in that energy of control. That's somebody who's in control of their emotions. They're not ruled by them. You're certainly not. No longer being ruled by your emotions. So there's been some kind of change for yourself. And that's what's bringing in this new, this manifesting. You might even mirror someone a little bit here in certain ways. Uh, but I can see with the chariot, uh, it's an energy of success. See, it's somebody who wants to have success. They're very determined. Someone's confident now about a situation being successful, partnering up. And this is a person who's having the courage. There's the courage to step into life. They've manifested, learned all the lessons of all the kings. I feel like you're in that energy as well. You see, the chariot. Aha, uh -huh, the truth, success, victory. <laughs> the light bulb's going off, that little aha moment. Yeah, you got somebody, win or lose, they're coming towards you. There's some kind of truth leading towards success. Beautiful. Tell me about the Empress. Oops, that came out. Yeah, you got a King of Wands. It, it starts with this energy. It could be this person. It could be all one person. But others of you, like I say, you may have someone you don't trust. You're no longer giving. You're no longer uh, reaching out. You've changed. You're moving on. Some of you got someone coming back around. Someone who knows exactly what they want. Okay. King of Wands. Capable. Dependable. King of Wands, I'll tell you, when they're in a, a, a mature energy, you know, this is someone who's got a lot of pride in their house, their home. They may have a home-based business. Like I say, they may have entered a relationship. Maybe they sold a home. They're looking for a new home. This person's also looking for a partner. Yeah, very creative. There's definitely something you have in common because we know the Empress has that creative energy. You could be this person, quite honestly. You could be that King of Cups with all this energy here. But someone mastering life, manifesting, having the tools, the information, everything they need. Win or lose. This is someone who wants success. The truth is they're successful. You see, there could be truth about feelings and emotions, about love, their choices in love. Tell me about the King of Cups. Yeah. 
So you're definitely, there's an energy of being discerning if this is yourself, but I feel someone questioning. A little Gemini energy, Libra, Aquarius. This is about questioning and being discerning. It has to do with truth and clarity. So there's a need for clear communication because you're wanting clarity. Now we have the King and Queen of Swords. So you may have that energy in common. Uh, communication. See, it's about reciprocity, two people communicating, being clear. Some of you aren't trusting someone. You may tell them, I don't, you know, you may have some trust issues or someone didn't trust you. You may have been telling the whole truth, nothing but the truth yourself. But, you, you know, the Queen of Swords is discerning, questioning, being very wise, you see. Yeah, the moon, trusting the intuition. I feel like it's connected to the Empress, possibly that little Libra energy whether you have it in your chart or not, okay? Because the Empress has mastered life. The Empress has mastered all the energy of the queens. Learned all the lessons. Mm hmm Wow. You got a person who's definitely going through that level up, some of you, okay? But you're going to be very discerning. You're going to question this. It has to do with putting in the work. Some of you are cutting someone out. Maybe they're not sharing their feelings. They're not reciprocating, so you can't trust them. Okay. You need to be confident yourself about a decision. Okay. Someone here may not be very confident, but I feel it has to do with this person being wise and making a decision to reciprocate. See, some of you have gone through a change. You may Someone may be a little worried you're going to reject them. You may not feel the same. You see, it's someone who failed to see, failed to recognize the truth. Win or lose, whoever they are, this is someone very determined. They don't give up easily. No. Tell me more about this King of Wands. Yeah, see, this is someone who's been trapped in their head coming back around, see? This is an energy of somebody who's been in their head doing a lot of thinking. Yeah. This could be somebody who was trapped in some kind of a situation, but this is somebody who definitely knows what they want. They're doing a lot of thinking. It's connected to the King of Swords. Could be someone coming back around. You definitely are going to be looking for clarity, the truth. There's something about truth and success. This person's been in their head overthinking. This is someone who can't stop thinking about you. Okay? You may even be thinking about each other because that king and queen of swords or some kind of communication. It's about not repeating mistakes of the past. You're definitely not going to. Trust issues. See, this person there. It's all connected. Tell me more about the eight of swords. Yeah, end of a cycle, things going in your favor. Yeah, it's a cycle ending. It's about uh, the abundance. It's to do with the timing. The time is now. Uh, so it's an energy of uh, this person possibly just getting out of their head, uh, someone who overthinks, but it's a person who's thinking about you. Uh, it's also about them no, no longer repeating mistakes of the past. That's also yourself. See, a cycle has ended. Things are about to switch. Somebody wants things to go in their favor, so they're analyzing and strategizing. Trust your intuition. Be wise. Yeah. This is somebody that you know. They want things to go in their favor, but you see, it has to do... The Wheel of Fortune is about timing. It has to do with the cycle ending and something turning around. Now, it could be something you've had that's been kind of on and off. This person may be making a decision. But I feel like it's this person breaking free. Someone's breaking free from a relationship, a commitment, something that's over. Now, it could have been over for a long time. Now, this person maybe needed to, you know, make themselves happy, love themselves first before they start looking for love. Because we all know when something ends, you need to heal. You need to, you know, you go through the process, the journey. But there's definitely this person's looking. See, they're looking for something here. Where's my soulmate? Someone's looking for you or somebody like yourself. But it's telling you to just trust your intuition and be wise. I feel this person's in the same energy, being wise, see? This is someone who already knows everything they need to know. They already know, but they're overthinking, see? Someone's failed to recognize that energy, maybe even about themselves. So, But, you know, you're in that same energy if you're that empress, you know, the birth of something new, the moon maiden, new beginning. you got a new beginning, a whole new cycle. Trust your intuition, okay? It'll tell you. You'll know. It's a win or lose situation. Some of you are cutting someone out. Thanks, but no thanks. You're moving on. You know, maybe you've been single for a while, but you see two. This is, I feel like we got two single people, okay? Or someone's newly single. They're ready for change, maybe coming towards you. I don't know. Maybe you had someone who 
was in a relationship with somebody and they needed to end it. Whatever it is, it has to do with that Four of Wands. Tell me more about the death. Yeah, someone's putting something behind, making a sudden decision to end something. The tower is coming down. Mm-hmm. See the epiphany, the tower is coming down. Someone's looking back at all this hard work. They feel like giving up, but this is a person who doesn't give up. This is someone who's not giving up. They're looking for love. This person's determined. Okay, they this is someone looking for a partner. This is someone breaking free. There's a breakthrough energy. See, because the cycle's ending. This person wants things to go in their favor. They're determined. They're coming in to tell the truth. Okay, uh, victory. I see a victory here. Yeah, I feel like you know them. If you don't, <laughs> it could be a little bit of a shock or surprise. You may find out something about someone too. Or they're finding out you've ended a situation and now they're looking for you. Whatever, it's possible you've cut someone out. Yeah. Let's grab some charms here. Tell me about this tower. The tower for Pisces. The letter I. Something about self. There's the wisdom, the owl, seeing things clearly. See, somebody here has made some kind of a decision. Now, if you have ended a situation and somebody knows about it, they're coming your way, okay? You probably know them and they know, I feel this person knows everything they need to know, okay? They've gathered all the tools, the information. <laughs> a lot of wisdom here. Mm -hmm. The letter S, the letter I, the letter D. Let's have a look at this King of Pentacles. The letter N, yeah. King of Pentacles, the abundance, somebody enjoying the fruits of their labors, a single person, okay? Somebody financially stable. There could be all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, it, there could be sales of homes, all kinds of things, but it's the tower, it's sudden, okay? A little bit of a shock. Someone may be finding out you've ended it or they have. It, it's an energy of a breakthrough, ending of a, a cycle, a pattern. Now, the letter K, uh, the fish, little Pisces, someone's looking for you. <laughs> yeah, someone's looking for you here. Somebody with a lot of abundance. And they may be seeing this about you as well. Let's have a look at this King of Cups. You know, some of you are definitely making choices. Like I say, like I say, you may be cutting out a few people here, making a decision to let this person go. Okay, suddenly. Sometimes the shock, the tower is a wake-up call. King of Cups, the letter S, yeah. See, it has to do with um, balance. Yin and Yang, two people who are different than each other, but yet very much the same. Wow. The letter G and the heart. So there's something to do with love, some kind of truth to do with someone's feelings. Wow. This could be another person giving someone advice, too, to go after what they want. Queen of Swords often is a person. They don't have to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but somebody here. Because it has to do with someone looking into the future, seeing the bigger picture. But it's often advice. Could be from a friend, you know. Could be this person cutting out this person, too. I mean, we've got this energy here. So <laughs> maybe both of you are ending something and connecting partnering up here wow there's so much it's going to be different for each of you this is uh, one of these energies where it's just like sudden okay yeah look at that there's the cup somebody coming in there's the cup someone failed to recognize an opportunity okay someone here who wants to uh, build something here but there's trust issues to do with work to do with building um, whether something will work or not there's a, yeah, you've got, there's a rose, there's a, there's the cup. I feel like you're going to get a, uh, maybe an invitation of some sort here. Someone's been working really hard. They've been really busy. Okay, like that's where I feel someone, some of you, it's just a person fixing up their home. They're getting ready. They're financially stable or they're selling a home, getting a new home. They want love though. Happy home, happy life. But there's clarity and organization. 
Well, this could be someone telling someone, giving them advice. Get organized. Get your act together. <laughs> All right, before you go looking for love. Whatever. There's the king of, or the king. Okay, that's interesting. The king, the K. Hmm. Could be someone's initials as well. The letter O. See, there's the heart, but there's the key. What is the key? Where is the key? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We have the letter T, and there's a made with love. See, this is somebody here, made with love. Somebody's making something, building something. It's a heart made with love. So there's something to do with the key. Somebody wants to build. Perfecting their craft and skills. Someone's a little bit worried here. Now, there could be other things. There could be a job situation where some of you aren't getting paid enough. Thanks, but no thanks. You may be getting offered jobs, maybe multiple opportunities. Okay, but I do see success. I see a new beginning, regardless whether it's love, job, career, finances, whatever it is. You've got this new beginning. The birth of something new with the Empress. Just trust your intuition. It's an energy of feeling guided, okay? If something feels right, you may go for it. If it doesn't, you may not, okay? But the frustration, the hurry. Someone's in a hurry. They're frustrated. They're in a hurry. They're working. They're building, you see? Mm -hmm. There's someone putting their best foot forward. Do we have the Ace of Pentacles? Yes, we did. There it is. Somebody offering something stable, putting their best foot forward. Someone's a little bit worried about being rejected. Mm -hmm. I can see the letter B. This is also stepping into life, the courage to step into life. There's the shoe. Oh, yeah. There's the heart. There's the ring. There's some kind of commitment to being made here. Okay. There's the letter F. There's the manifesting. The strength. We've got the Mercury energy, the communication, the truth, the success. Someone's going to tell you about their success, their finances. I feel they're going to just put it, lay it all out on the table here. Okay. You might be a little shocked or surprised. It may just come in out of the blue. You just may have other things going on. Like I say, you could have a couple things happening. I see a busy time, lots of opportunities, communication. There's the judgment, the decision. So some Libra energy possibly here. So there's some sort of a decision. It's about someone's confident about a decision they're about to make to do with love, commitment, to do with something long term. The infinity. Yeah. Wow. And there's the fan. It's definitely someone who likes attention. <laughs> they could be your biggest fan. Um, either or here. And some truth. Oh, I want to see what that is. What is this truth and victory about? The letter D, the letter E. There's the lock. So someone wants to lock you down. Could be the, the lock, the key, the key to the heart, commitment, a house, a home. You know, if you are putting um, money down, saving money, um, it's telling you to be strong and brave regardless because I do see financial stability and a partnership. Okay, You may just be in the right place at the right time too. And there's the letter E. There's the being still. See, this is about balance, the truth. Okay, being still. Somebody standing on one foot, basically just being still. That's about seeing the bigger picture before a decision's made. Someone needs to be confident about a decision. Someone's lacking it a little bit here. See? Something to do with their house, their home, their finances. The letter Q, which is often right on time. <laughs> the Q, someone may be looking for, you know, waiting for a little hint. Someone may drop you a little hint. Because it's often, you know, when I see it, it, the cue to me, whenever it pops up, the first thing that says right on time, it's about the timing, see? Lots to do with timing, the wheel of fortune, the world, you know, the eight of wands, the tower. Well, there's the good omen, the dragonfly. So there's something positive here, you see? This is, I, I feel like there's someone who's seen this empress energy, this beautiful um, birth of something new. 
This is likely someone who's maybe been keeping their feelings to themselves. It could be yourself, just keeping your feelings to yourself. You may have someone who's very curious. Like I say, sometimes the Empress is very curious and the Empress just sort of stays there, you know. You're focused on other things, career, finances, maybe your own house and home, you know, whatever's going on with you. But uh, it's about the mis the mystery. Somebody here wants to discover those mysteries. And that's where I feel something is about to be cleared up, okay. I feel like you know each other. If you don't, it could come as a shock or a surprise. A lot of you, it's you leaving someone behind. Searching for emotional fulfillment, seeing the bigger picture. And this person finds out you're single. They're moving your way. And they are not fooling around. They're in a hurry. See, someone tempering their passions, tempering their emotions. You may have someone here who's just not right for you. Okay. And someone who is. So there's a need for a little bit of patience. Someone's tempering their passions, tempering their emotions, balancing their thoughts, getting out of their head. Uh -huh. Someone may reach out. Okay, you may be tempted, so be wise, trust your intuition. But it's an energy often where there's a lot of chemistry between two people with this new beginning. So it's energy of someone who's pulling back, maybe trying something different. Maybe you're different than their usual type. Okay, maybe they don't, they're not very confident at first, but they are gaining the confidence. I see it to make this decision to do with partnering up, whether it's work or love. The Empress is definitely very patient. You're just is telling you just be still. Focus on anything that you're doing, okay? That's important to you. The abundance. You have a lot to offer, you see? Yeah, you're the full package here. But if you don't trust someone, then you don't. So that's where you'll feel something may be a little off. But yeah, see, friends, family, uh, getting out, meeting new people. But it's also an invitation, there's going to be some kind of truth. There's definitely an energy if some of you got two or three people, situations going on. Now, it could be just how you've reached that Empress energy where you've learned the lessons from the Queens. But it's almost like someone's catching up to you because I don't see the Emperor here, but yet this person's like on that last leg of the journey. Okay. Um, but there's this energy of there's two or three people. Some may have some people who just aren't right for you because we know the Empress Looks at the bigger picture, discerning, questioning, being very wise, your inner knowing. It's like you already know. I think you know someone has feelings. I think you know they've kept them to themselves. You're likely keeping your feelings to this, yourself because of it. You know, sort of doing your own thing here. That's what the Empress does. But yeah, so it's about tempering the emotions, passions, getting out of the head. There's some kind of invitation, a gathering. You may just be out socializing where you could be just at the right place at the right time. You know, where we've got two people. You might not know each other. Like I say, you could be at the right place at the right time. You just meet someone. But I see, you know, some really good news coming in here. Yeah, well, we got the Queen of Pentacles. See, grounded, practical, sensible. You're just focused on your money, doing your own thing, taking care of your house, your home. You're doing something different. You're just balanced here. You're patient. I see you being patient and doing your own thing. That's what it's telling you to do. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see? See in the bigger picture. Somebody may need some glasses. They're focusing on that pentacle. <laughs> see? Long term. Planning for the future. King and Queen of Pentacles. This person's becoming an emperor, okay? That's what I feel their intentions are. They're learning those life lessons. They're looking. Someone who's, I feel, not giving up. They're looking for love. Where's my soulmate? Right here. <laughs> right there with that new beginning. Yeah. Some of you have a new job, too. I can see it. A new job, you're very focused on it, where you may not see this coming. It may come in as a shock or a surprise. Because I see a communication, king and queen of swords, communicating, talking, being very clear. Let's have a look at this eight of cups. Yeah, the letter N. See, two hearts looking for the two of cups, two hearts connected. Someone's looking for love. Oh, the bond, the connection. This is important to this person. They're definitely someone who's probably interested in family, maybe having children, or, you know, doesn't mean they have to. Um, but it's definitely someone who's quite family oriented. This is someone who uh, I feel there's something to do with compatibility. You know, the tidy house, 
Maybe that's the situation. Maybe you want someone who's tidier, takes care of their home. They're more balanced. They know how to balance the budget. They're practical, grounded. We have a power couple. So the couple that work together, uh, play together, stay together long term. So something's about to happen. It's going to take a little time yet, though, because I do see a lot going on here. Uh, if you are here right now and you're questioning someone being discerning, also, it's saying to watch your words, watch your temper, okay? Uh, the temperance shows up there, and that's the empress. The empress is kind and compassionate, always gracious, no matter what, okay? Yeah, so you might need to watch your words a little too. This person as well, but it's also about thoughts and balance, see? Two people are just right for each other here. And I feel like that's yourself just staying single till the right person comes in. Someone is just right. And I feel it's right there with that new beginning. So it's saying just do you. Focus on your house, your home, your financial foundation. It's about being ready, preparing for the future. There's definitely someone here I don't think you see a future with, though. There's something that may be off with someone. So, yeah. But others of you, if it's just one person, you know who it is. Whatever this energy is, it's about this person putting, taking that step to step into life, to find the courage with strength to tell you some truth. Okay? Take care. We'll see you soon.